我们来看一下全球暖化所造成的影响。虽然现在还不完全到春天的时机，可是呢，它不应该是如此寒冷的状况。欧洲今年是先暖，据气象现在的预报，认为未来会非常寒冷，在未来的一两个月之内。而美国呢，在过去一个礼拜里头，从东岸、中西部、密西根，尤其到了加州，加州出现了暴雪，有三分之二的地区。都遭致了气候的攻击，尤其是暴雪的攻击。加州州长宣布，这些地区进入了紧急状态。而过去呢，加州很少受到这么大的一个暴雪的攻击，尤其是只有在北方。那么到了这次所攻击的，连内华达山脉这个地方都积雪，积得超过过去的记录。另外，破坏性的风暴也席卷了德州的北部。而在欧洲呢，现在面临的是很严重的干旱，尤其是法国。另外，在意大利，连威尼斯都成了一个把船。搁浅在旁边，它不是水淹没威尼斯城，现在是干旱、没有水的一个城市。This monster storm has turned highways into skating rinks. Potentially record-breaking snow and sub-zero temperatures have fallen across the Upper Midwest, forcing many to endure the worst in the dark. 900,000 residents across Michigan, Wisconsin, Illinois, and Indiana were without power earlier today. The majority in Michigan. 一场强大的冬季风暴肆虐美国，从西海岸延伸至五大湖。Historic and hazardous. California is dealing with blizzards in some areas for the first time ever. Near Los Angeles, this snow is bringing back memories of 1989. Today, snarling traffic and closing a major interstate. This is I-5, and the blowing snow is just pelting me in the face. The road is shut down right now. Normally, it's one of the state's busiest arteries, so this is an unusual sight. Not a single car for miles. Before sunrise, the state of emergency was ordered in the mountains just outside Los Angeles. Already buried under as much as seven feet of snow, trapped residents in San Bernardino County are rationing food and running short on supplies as another major snowstorm barrels in. Crazy, crazy storm. Never experienced this kind of uh, weather before. In Yosemite National Park, as much as 15 feet of snow falling, homes buried up to their chimneys. Crews working to restore critical services. The park closed indefinitely. 一面雪墙胜过了千言万语。美国国家气象局三十四年来首次向洛杉矶地区发出冬季风暴警告。The storm is different than others in years past, right? Places are getting snow that don't usually see the white stuff. 阳光明媚的加州，宛如电影《明天过后》的场景，一片冰天雪地。Uh, this is a California moment, and this is really a big deal. I mean, take a look at this. All these snow-covered mountains and hills. This must be in the Sierra, right? Or the Cascades, or somewhere the Rockies? No, folks. This. Was taken from an airplane overlooking Santa Barbara. 对于南加州地区来说，冬季降雪并不常见。像是洛杉矶，市中心最后一次出现摄氏零度是在一九七九年一月二十九日，而往年二三月份，当地已迎来温暖的春季。但这次大部分地区，包括低海拔地区，都被史上少见的降雨降雪覆盖。根据加州大学伯克莱分校中央塞拉里昂雪实验室的数据，持续降雪使得加州本季度的积雪高度推高了十二英尺，约三点六六公尺，成为数十年来的最高水平。研究人员说，加州今冬总降雪量已达到往年平均水平的百分之两百零五，仅次于一九五二年。Breadcrumbs for breakfast? These people are trapped in snow and running out of food. Here's my car. Oh, is he part of it? Yep, those are trucks buried under a mountain of snow. 不少居民因此受困家中，断炊断电。In the mountains east of LA, many residents of Lake Arrowhead remain trapped in their homes. There's a state of emergency as supplies are running dangerously low. This is the real deal, and there's a lot of people in need up here. I've never seen it like this before. 这场暴雪虽然有效缓解了加州旱象，但加州人兴奋的情绪很快就转为恐惧。狂风、暴雨、暴风雪，数以万计的房屋断电，多条河流泛滥，多条道路被迫封闭，包括了一条重要的。东西商业命脉
Interstate 80, a major east-west corridor, had to be shut down. More than 7,000 trucks usually pass over the Donner Summit every day, transporting nearly $5 million in commercial goods every hour. Lushanji at least seven tornadoes touched down in Oklahoma Sunday, the most for any day in February, and two more in Kansas. The system also brought twisters to Illinois and Ohio this afternoon. In Texas, devastating winds reaching 114 miles per hour overnight, causing near blinding dust storms across the state. In El Paso, this trampoline that landed in the middle of the road forcing drivers to swerve out of the way. 气象专家表示,美国这次遭遇的极端天气是由急流的异常极端配置所造成的。it is end of uh, February and early in March, and this can't happen this time of year. That's just the way it goes. But this is what Venice has become now. Canals looking more like dirty ditches, the majestic gondolas beached, and people staring in shock. Venice has traditionally suffered the threat of floods. The canals which run through the city used to get inundated. That's not the case anymore. Why are Venice's canals running dry? Multiple reasons. Low rainfall, low tides, and the general trend of Italy's water cycle getting impacted by climate change. And this is happening in a place called the Floating City. This time, the Alps received half the snowfall they usually do. So rivers are running dry. The problem is not unique to Venice. This is a story all over Italy. Italian rivers and lakes are running out of water. Look at the Po River. This is Italy's longest river, and its survival is in danger. The Po now has 61% less water than it usually does this time of year. This is the story of climate change, and it's a global story. France is experiencing its worst drought since records began in 1958. Almost 75% of Romania is impacted by droughts. Same story in Portugal. 99% of the country is said to be experiencing severe drought. The Horn of Africa is grappling with its worst drought in 40 years. According to a report from last year, 2.3 billion people in the world are experiencing water stress. By 2050, 75% of the world's population could be affected by droughts. For now, it's Venice and Italy. Soon, it could be your city and your country.